My brothers and sisters, good morning. This is the morning prayer for Wednesday, April 27, 2022, Wednesday of the second week of Easter. And let us begin our morning prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christ delivers us from death. Come, let us give thanks. Alleluia. Sisters and brothers, through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God delivers us from the prison of our mortality, so that we may walk freely in his light and his love. And let us pray. As for me, I will cry to the God, and the Lord will save me. Evening, morning, and at noon I will cry and lament. He will deliver my soul in peace in the attack against me. For those who fight me are many, but he hears my voice. God will hear and will humble them the eternal judge, for they will not amend their ways. They have no fear of God. And trust your cares to the Lord, and he will support you. He will never allow the just man to stumble. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. It was I who stirred up one for the triumph of justice. All his ways I make level. He shall rebuild my city, and let my exiles go free. Without price or ransom, says the Lord of hosts. The Word of the Lord. And on this Wednesday morning, brothers and sisters, let us pray and recite the Canticle of Zechariah, and let us pray. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Intercessions Sisters and brothers, with confidence in God's power and his love, made manifest in the resurrection of Christ, we pray. And the response is, you will save us. You will save us. From the prison of the narrow mind and the shuttered heart, deliver us, O Lord. And the response, you will save us. From the confinement of our sinful habits, deliver us, O Lord. And the response, you will save us. From captivity to our self-will, deliver us, O Lord. And the response, you will save us. And let us offer to God our own personal intentions pulled from the silence of our hearts. And the response, you will save us. And let us pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, as Jesus himself has taught us, and we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And let us pray. God of mercy, you promised forth us the spirit of the freedom of the children of God. As you open the prison cells to which the first disciples were condemned, open every gate that stands between us and the freedom to love you and our neighbor. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us end our morning prayer, sisters and brothers, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, a world without end. Amen. Have a good day, everybody.